In a year, you'll be addressing me as But sometimes there are Just... Hey, where's dispatch? There. All right, men. We take care of the UV lamps and head back to base. It should be on point, fast, and easy. Go, go, go. some famous war hero. I bet he's rolling over in his grave. Watch your mouth, civilian. Things are tough all over. You know that. Go make yourself useful. Nah, you. I remember you from the canteen. Yeah, I, I guess. From the fight in the canteen? Uh, maybe. Don't sweat it. You can really hold your own. I respect that. Aiden, right? Commander told me to brief you about faction matters. Missy welcomes you. Uh, who's Missy? It's the name of the ship you're standing in. She played a key role during the revolution. Missy was meant to deliver drugs, masks, and other critical medical supplies, then return home. But by then, home was gone. She and her crew had nowhere to go. And what about now? Now, she serves as PK headquarters in Command Central. All directives are issued from right here. Smart. Easier to defend than a building. Exactly. Where is Matt? In the field. He came across a lead in Old Villador. You gotta wait. See that board? I got plenty that needs doing and not enough men. You wanna pick up some of our slack? We pay well. Medic, hurry! Fuck, that's Major Matt. Medic, Something's hurry. happened. Make room! Clear the way! He's bleeding out! Fuck! Oh Hater's in really bad shape. Save him! Take him to the infirmary! Summon the medics! We have to save him. Hang on, Ator. We won't let you go. You hear me? Get moving. Better hope Ator survives. We lost too many people in old Villador. Jack will do all he can to find out who did this. Aiden, don't just stand there. Know what this is? These brass knuckles belonged first to Commander Lucas. Then, they passed on to Ator. What happened in old Villador? It can't happen again. We have to save the city, Aiden. From the plague, from the butcher and his men, whatever they're planning. Okay, but over the radio, you said you have information for me. Yes, but before we get down to that, tell me, Aiden, what do you need this database for? What does it contain? I'm looking for my sister. What happened to her? A long time ago, Waltz hurt her. He took her from me. And I want him to tell me where she is. If she's still alive somewhere, that's why I was looking for the GRE command center. 
to access Waltz's database on its servers. So we have a common enemy. Meaning? Waltz. That's the Butcher's right-hand man. He pumps his men full of inhibitors. We can get them both. I brought you here because I know that a few GRE scientists are hiding out in the city. We picked up the trail of one of them right before the renegade attack. Sounds promising. When I find a scientist, we'll see what they know. If they are of no use, we'll find another and another until you get the answers you're looking for. Fine. What do you want in return? What do you think I want? Maybe the same thing both of us want? The city has electricity again. The renegades are on the attack. For the first time since the war ended, they attacked our outposts in the city center. But new possibilities have opened up for us as well. Thanks to the electricity, we can fire up the biggest antenna in the center, on the VNC Tower Spire. Wait, you want to defeat the Butcher using radio? In a way. The signal will let me reach a larger number of people. Communication between settlements will be improved. We'll enlist more recruits and defend the city. And then it will be easier to find the surviving GRE doctors you need. I'll do my part. But what guarantee do I have that you'll help me after? You don't trust me, Aiden. I haven't been here that long, but I can already tell that kept promises are rare in this city. If we don't find any of the GRE scientists, I promise I'll get Waltz for you. Okay. I'm in. Good. The Butcher attacked for a reason. I want to make sure this city is safe, no matter what. <coughs> You all right, sir? Maya will share our plan with you. Go see her as soon as you can. Oh, and Aiden. You don't have to call me sir. To friends, I'm Jack. Okay, Jack. What's up with the rations these days? They're a new cook or something? Matt told me to see you. Yes, he wanted me to give you this. A little reward for helping us peacekeepers. A UV flashlight. Could come in handy. Thanks. He said something about a plan? The VNC tower. Now that the lights are on, we can use the TV antenna to broadcast our call for mobilization. But first, we need to get to the top. And that's a long road. What do you want to know? Tell me more about this radio station on the tower. It's the tallest building in Villador. It was once a symbol of the city's greatness. Now, a symbol of its fall. Why do you say that? That antenna could bring the city together once more. But anyone who goes up there trying to fire it up, guess what happens? Nothing good, I bet. Damn right. The city's potential shining beacon is a death trap. We're hoping it'll be different this time. We're going to light it up with UV lamps. Okay, let's get going. Are the lights in place? They would be, if Juan from Supplies would just do his job for once. I take it that he didn't. He's been playing hide-and-seek the last few days, and he's late. Getting on my nerves. So look in on Juan first. See what his deal is. And when you do find him, kick him in the ass. Tell him it's from me. 
something to say? Our chances to get some rank were pretty good. But now, I'm not so sure. <coughs> I want to fit the Wenegades too. Not work on the. Looking for Juan Rayner. You don't appear to be on his schedule. It's urgent. The commander sent me. So, Monsieur Jacques sends you? Jacques? Jacques Matt. Monsieur Rayner is not here. I can't take a message. No, I need to talk to him in person. Where is he? Unfortunately, I can't help. Monsieur Reyna's whereabouts are no one's business. Wait if he must. Anything else? Matt's not gonna be happy. Juan is not particularly concerned with the little major's feelings. Do come again. In the one? Working on it. Meyer and Jack sent me to supply. Interesting bunch. Not like any of the other PKs I've met. That might be because they're not PKs, Eagle Eye. Business is their true faith. I see. Anyway, I can't track down their boss. Juan? He likes to make himself scarce. This zone is probably the lurking around the fish eye. The canteen? The slick bastard's even got his own table there. Bribed the cook to bring him off menu goods. He lives like the fall never took place. I'll look for him there. Good luck finding him. And good luck if you do find him. Move along, citizen. My goods are to die for. I love conducting business at the Metro. Better look out for you. What's the matter? I'm Hugh, and you're the pilgrim who turned on the electricity, right? Word travels fast. Mm -hmm. And word is you, you help people. And sometimes. Is that why you called me? I, I need help. My kid went off the water tower earlier and hasn't come back. I'm worried. Uh, how long has he been gone? About six hours now. That's a long time. Wouldn't normally worry. Oh, he's 
such a strong kid, built like an ox. But it's been such a long time. Hmm. How old's your son? Does it matter? I just want my kid back. I would take care of it myself, but... Uh, but there are three young children waiting for me at home. I, I can't leave them unattended. Okay. I'll take a look for you. It's not safe here. Let's meet in my place after you found him. It's down on Lower Dam Promenade! What happened to the bizarre? Chaos and mayhem. This I is what comes of law. You should be nicer to the guy holding your balls. Hope you see some action soon.
death, you may. Spoke on snuff you. Huh? Primitives. I need to let us the PM. Peacekeepers fear the dark. How is it? The peacekeepers are supposed to be weak and yet hold all the power. Because the night runners weren't divine by the power. They say that the commander's heart was cut out. How you guys do that? Holy fuck! We need to resolve this game. We can't let the situation become violent. Juan Rainer? You lost, man? We didn't call for a waiter. I've got orders to find you from Meyer and the commander. And my name's. I know who you are, Aiden. After that bang up with the renegades, half the canteen wants to name their most precious offspring after you, including Vinny here. But you interrupted our meal. State your purpose in one sentence, then please make yourself scarce. Oh, you know perfectly well why I'm here. The UV lamps. Meyer says you owe the peacekeepers a delivery. And you think your barking will make an impression on me? The Lummox and Chief Jack thinks he can send his terrier, and everyone will wet themselves in terror. But what can I expect? He can't tell the difference between champagne and a crystal chalice, or water from a dog's bowl. He has an ounce of refinement. Isn't that right, Vinny? Uh, I don't know. Don't be afraid. It's not like Jack is gonna march in and have you hanged. At least not now. Uh... Ah, oh, Vinny. When will you grow a spine? You want my attention, Aiden? Show me you deserve it. What can you offer me? Listen, I'm just trying to help. I, I need those lamps. <laughs> so the groveling and begging begins. My favorite part. You really need them? Or Jack? What'd he promise you? Look, you were supposed to deliver, and I was asked to make sure you do. And how do you expect to do that? Maybe bat your pretty eyelashes at me? I'm not saying you're not my type, because you are. But... I need a reason to break Vinny's heart for someone else. So, you have to try harder. Huh. Okay. How about a court-martial? Matt can do that, right? <laughs> a court-martial? You have no idea who you're talking to, do you? Who would hash out the contracts with the suppliers? Who would feed the army, provide it with weapons and clothing? A week without me, and the peacekeepers will be left with nothing. Supply is everything. Try again, man. And don't improv this time. <sighs> I'm... <sighs> You've used up all your time. Didn't pique my interest. But what is it you want, Juan? <sighs> like they used to say, if you gotta ask the price, you can't afford it. Returning to more pressing matters. And what should we try next? Did you make headway with the pompous ass? Never met a guy quite like him before. I told you. Shame we don't have a Come see me back at my place. Go with it. We'll talk. Even a drop of pino. Maybe some fruit. Sweets always do me good between heavier courses. Oh, 
Let me guess. He scarfed down five horses and had a hot young woman at his side. A young man, but the rest is accurate. He's a piece of work, all right. Well, I need him to get back to work. Jack needs UV lamps and Juan's dragging his feet. Hmm, that'll be tough. Juan barely listens to Jack, so he'll be an even tougher audience for you. He has his own men and power base, and he loves rubbing Jack's nose in that. And what can I do about that? Same as everyone else. Bribe him. He likes fine art, antiques, expensive shit from before the fall. When he sees something that used to be valuable, he can't stop himself. Zero self-control. Hmm. All right, where can I find something like that? I heard of an old Polish guy who lived in a penthouse by Liberation Passage. They say he was an art collector. You can try his place. You can only get there via paraglider. That's why there's a chance something is left. I'll be on the radio and guide you to him. What about you, huh? Going on a hunt? <laughs> no, a party. It's Danier's birthday, but you never know when a guest list will overlap with a hit list. Why don't you come and have a drink with us when you're done with one? I don't think Danier likes me. <laughs> he doesn't like anybody. We'll be in touch.
showing up when you did. Not yet. I've reached the building, but... How did you say I should get to the top? Use a vent. There should be one on the roof. When you get there, stand on it, jump, and open your paraglider. Easy. That sounds sketchy. Name the last non-sketchy thing you've done <clears throat> running around this town. Touché. Thank you. 
Took his paintings, but no room for Jessica. <laughs> One romantic son of a bitch. of what he took, it seems. Juan would be pleased. Voice message from 5.36 p.m. Mr. Bukowski, your transport is en route to you. The art collection should be on the roof already. As soon as the chopper is over the city, we'll call again. The Juan. I think I found his stash. A helicopter was coming for this guy. They sent everything to the roof. I'm headed there to look. Ah, oh, fuck. There aren't any paintings left. Everything's been destroyed. Hey, Luan? Found our collector, but no sign of his collection. Luan? Hey, you there? Jesus, Aiden. I told you I was leaving. Okay, quick thing. Nothing here except for a bottle of whiskey and one of vodka. At least the whiskey's the good stuff. Juan likes a good whiskey. Maybe if you get him shit-faced, he'll loosen up, so to speak. So you still in the canteen? I saw him leaving. Seemed to be heading back to the ship. Probably to his quarters. Right, okay, I'll go there. And listen, that vodka? Danier is a big fan. If you're planning to drop by, which you probably aren't. But if you really want to get to know this city, 
This is the way. Just saying. One day they might just blow Do you think it's caused by the windmill? <laughs> Probably not. Do you know any way to protect yourself from harmful electrical waves? What do you need? Happy to try it.
definitely. Just what I need. You got, I need. Always need this. Bring more of those. You rock, pal! Sure. That'll help. Finally. Could always use these. Is this gonna work? You'll need that. Let's do this again. My grandmother will put chestnuts under her mattress. Is that a joke? Doubt it. Grandmother didn't have a sense of humor. Now the juice
Happy birthday, Daniel. Oh, so you have come after all. Yeah, here, a little something to celebrate another year on the planet. What do you want from me, Gancho? What do you mean? What do you need? Why the gift all of a sudden? But the one said it's your birthday, so I thought you... I understand the concept of a birthday gift. To get it said dinner war. Yeah, uh... Okay, uh, listen. Happy birthday. <sighs> Lost the bet. But at least I have something to cheer me up. Well, bet? Never mind. Lavon is at the bar. You came! You invited me. <laughs> Didn't you want me here? Let me get a bottle so you can catch up with us. Hey, Ro? Off duty, hmm? Uh, listen, you know how stressful things can be sometimes. You get your orders, they don't make any sense. You're fighting the clock to get shit done. Oh, I feel you. Trust me. So, you made it. The one won. The one? Is this about some bet? Yeah, with Daniel. She was sure you'd come. Him, not so much. It's almost as if it mattered to her. That's unusual. Here, Aiden. Drink. Nicholas's finest booze. We were about to play a game. No, Luan, we weren't. Come on. I'm out. Yeah, count me out. Too drunk already. A bunch of losers. Aiden, are you playing? Okay, let's do it. My man! Rules are simple. You either answer an awfully personal question about yourself, or you must perform the dare. Okay, wait, so if I don't want to answer the question, I get to pick the dare. You wish. We decide whether it's a truth or dare. If you don't do as you're told, you drink. So, have you... Slept with anyone in Villador? No. Are you for real? <laughs> Maybe the guy has standards. Fall in love first and all that crap. Yeah, good luck with that. Not everyone is like you, Ro. Okay. Your turn. I want to hear you play. Fuck off. Wait, what do you mean? I'll drink. Forget about it. You play an instrument. Never mind. I drank. Moving on. She used to play the ukulele. Really? Guys, moving on. Aiden, you play for Ro, and I dare you to ask Ro to sing. It's awful. There. Let's hear those pipes, Ro. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> you asked for it. You're my ragamuffin. <laughs> you might think I'm tough and all, but I always have a ball with you. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> You're my ragamuffin. I know it's just a silly name, <laughs> but you set my heart aflame. It's true. <laughs> Ooh. Good lord, shoot me. Shoot me dead before I have to hear another note. Wow, man, that was... <laughs> that was something. Okay, enough of this. Anything you want to ask the master assassin here? I always wondered about that hit list. Shut up, bro. It's not your turn. After you escaped from Waltz, what did you do? Ooh, tough one. I did anything I had to in order to survive. All right, like what? That's another question. Drink. No, he's just making you answer the first one. 
Who cares what he asked? It started way before that. When I escaped from Waltz. Frank helped me. He showed me that there's something else I can do with all my anger. Back then, I thought I'd join them. Be a night runner someday. Ugh. Who was I kidding? They were wiped out at the VNC Tower. Frank lost almost everyone. The night runners fell. Frank started to drink, gave up on life, on himself. <laughs> so, I'm not a night runner. But at least I have my list. <sighs> Good night. Did I ask the wrong question? That's the beauty of this game, Pilgrim. Sooner or later, you get to the wrong question. I'll see you soon, I guess.